Guys, we found a brand new Bronco prototype. It's basically a Ranger, Ford Ranger prototype platform. Short wheelbase. Short wheelbase. Yeah, the engine sounded like kind of like a gas engine one. Yeah. I didn't hear clatter on startup. Did you? No. No, it sounded to me just like the um, Ranger engine, which would be no surprise. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. The 2.3 liter EcoBoost, four cylinder, right? Right. It makes sense. Uh, Ranger shares that engine. It's a really good power plant for that size. Did yep. you get a good shot of its rear quarter? Because they had this cutoff. Almost like rear an air well. intake? No, no, no. At the wheel well. The, yes. the rear wheel well yeah. was cut. So To hug the tire, you mean like a fender would be? Kind of like a Cadillac, so that you only see part of the wheel. Did you notice that? Yeah, it looked like um, the bed, which is a custom-built bed because it's a short wheelbase. Right. Has a little overhang over the tires. Is that what you mean? Okay, guys, we thought we were done. But on the top of a mountain pass, we see the Bronco again. Here's the Bronco. Here it is. We're catching up to it now. Oh, he must be seething. He, he's been trying to get away from us for a while. No, but he can't. We're in a four-cylinder Subaru. Anybody can. <laughs> All right, there's a single exhaust pipe coming out the back. Underneath, there are what appears to be covers for this for the um, look suspension. at that yeah they're completely covering up the suspension with a cloth what I mean cloth I mean material that is floppy like looks like hair basically. now look at that lower bumper look at the way it's shaped yeah versus that's that hatch. Really interesting so the rear hatch if you look at it it definitely is its own component and then there's some material missing between that hatch and the rear bumper go a smidge slower I want to see him turn you got it, boss. Okay, there's a glass back to this little shell. Yeah. And it looks like old school Ranger taillights. So they don't want to see the suspension. They don't want us to see it. They really don't want us to see suspension. It's interesting. It's like a serrated material that goes completely underneath what would be the rear beam and it covers up the corners. I can't tell if it's coil spring or leaf spring or whatever, at least from this angle. That is a Wrangler wheelbase. There we go. He was just at 12,000 feet of elevation and now he got down the mountain a little bit. About a thousand feet maybe, maybe two. Man, it's such a shame that uh, we couldn't get a little closer to look at the interior, but I'm pretty sure yeah. you know, that we're gonna get that one of these things. Yeah, and the interior is probably all covered anyways and it's got stuff that's probably not production, right? Right, well, yeah. Because it's an early prototype. It, we know, guys, it looks like a Ranger with a cap, right? We know that, but but still, it's really interesting to hear it, right? Yeah. And hear its engine startup. Yeah, that was cool. And just to see it rolling around was pretty cool. It's, it's happening. That's what I love. Yeah. It's happening. They're going to build it. Guys, and go back to tflcar.com and tfltruck.com for more prototype hunting and real reviews. See you next time. Real world. Yeah.